Friday prayers in Rotherham were conducted under the gaze of the police, just in case of trouble. After all, Muslims here stand accused, not of sympathy with terrorism, but that their religion or their culture allow for child sexual abuse. The worshippers are horrified. I can't find a single scripture that says you're allowed to use guns, knives, petrol. What they have done is criminal activity. It's not accepted within the religion of Islam or any religion. This happens with members of every community. But the religion isn't to blame for this. This is a criminal culture. The only men convicted here have all been Pakistani, raising all sorts of accusations that their conservative, male-dominated culture represses sexuality, that they're too religious, that they're not religious enough. The right-wing English Defence League, which is strong here, has seized on it as a critique of all of Islam. They're following uh, a scripture and writings from 1400 years ago when it was acceptable to have sex with, with girls, what we see as being underage now, but they wasn't uh, in the 7th century. In the last big abuse case in Oxford, the men weren't all Pakistani. They were a mixture of South Asian and North African heritage. In Rotherham, the authorities were reluctant to accuse Muslims of sexual offences for fear of upsetting community relations. It's a complete mess. The central assertion is that political correctness inside Rotherham's political elite allowed the abusers to flourish, even to feel like nobody was much interested in stopping them. And that's already shown the potential to turn the child abuse scandal here into an ethnic and religious row. Rotherham's MP has conducted her own inquiry into the national picture of abuse. She says the imams at the local mosques have made clear their disgust at what's been going on. When is it that different faith schools and different um, churches are going to be talking to their congregations as well? This is something which is going on across Britain in all societies and unless we take it on board holistically rather than singling out certain groups we're never going to be able to tackle it. Everything about what happened here is completely sordid and the idea that men could go trawling for vulnerable girls and boys with impunity an obvious disgrace. It also looks like the loudest voices here want to use it as a stick with which to beat the entire Muslim community. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, Rotherham.